How does the United States deal with other nations that don't play by the rules, that threaten their neighbors, defy the United Nations, or pose a threat to us? It's one of the most important questions of the day. I'm retired General Wes Clark. I'm a senior fellow here at the Burkle Center at UCLA, and I'm inviting you to come and join us on the 11th of March for a conference on rogue states. Isolate, engage, or strike. What's the right approach? We're pulling together some of the most distinguished minds in the field. Diplomats, academicians, former leaders of the military and, and government to come and focus on this issue. We've got some great experiences to draw from. It's not the first time we've faced these problems. We faced China during the Cold War. They competed against us, we competed against them, we never went to war against them, and now they're one of our largest trading partners and soon to be one of the greatest powers in the world. We've got the case of South Africa, a Western-oriented nation, but using a terrible system of apartheid, which we were able to affect and change and bring freedom to South Africa. <clears throat> We've got the case of Libya, um, a despotic state that was a threat. We attacked, we isolated, we engaged, and Libya has today opened up and is now off the list of terrorist sponsoring nations. Um, we've got examples from history, but we've also got great people here. Governor Bill Richardson is going to be our keynote speaker. He's dealt personally with North Korea on numerous occasions. General Leon Laporte commanded the 8th U.S. Army in Korea. He knows that situation probably better than any of us. General John Abizade, commander in the Middle East, an expert on Iran. We need to think about North Korea, Iran, and even a friendly nation like Pakistan with 170 million people and nuclear weapons racked by dissension. Who are these states? How can they be dealt with? What's the right combination of measures? Is it diplomacy? Military economic assistance? Is it isolation? Simply cutting them off from the benefits they could have attained. Or must we take more active measures and consider strikes to eliminate the outstanding threats before we can engage or even accept isolation of such states? Come and join with us the 11th of March, UCLA, the Burkle Center. Let's talk about rogue states. Engage, isolate, or strike.